We're gonna show you how we make our fight scenes in under one hour. What's up, ninjas? My name is Gabriela Corvina, actress, martial artist of over 18 years, and you're watching my channel. I'm here with my buddy Jeff. We do a lot of fight scenes together. You guys have probably seen him in a couple of our scenes here on the channel, Instagram, and uh, we're gonna show you how we make our scenes today. Yeah, uh, I've been working at this as a fight director and stunt actor for a while now, so it's always fun to work with Gabby and put together fight scenes on the fly. So we'll show you our process and get down to it. Let's do it. So a lot of the fight scenes that you guys see on Instagram, YouTube, that are shorter in length um, and kind of lower in the expanse of how far you can take a film. So these are your shorter fight scenes. We make those fight scenes in literally an hour or two. We meet up. Um, a lot of times our schedules are very busy. We're trying to do multiple things throughout our days, throughout our weeks, and uh, we're really just trying to fit in our practice, fit in a scene really quick with, throughout the week. So a lot of times it's like, okay, well, let's shoot this really quick, and then we're out of there. And a lot of times that's within, like I said, one or two hours. And for us, one, that's kind of always been uh, me and my team style of shooting because we started off doing guerrilla style shoots uh, <laughs> doing like non studio shoots non paid for shoots we're literally going out with a camera in public you know and doing these fight scenes and we had to run away from cops and run away from security security guards more than half of the time uh, because we're not supposed to be doing that but we're not gonna talk about that part. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we meet up and we choreograph on the spot. It's not like we have, unless it's with our higher quality films and higher production films, we don't necessarily have rehearsals. We meet, we choreograph, we shoot, and then we'll do our next sequence. And then we come up with about at least a one minute uh, to two minute fight scene. So we're gonna get into that process and show you how we do. So right now we literally have like nothing planned. <laughs> I called Jeff up here uh, and I was like, hey, let's do a fight scene on Sunday and uh, we have nothing right now. So we're, we're working from scratch. We generally start off with an idea. So right before we started the camera, I was like, well, let's do some hand to hand and some flips today. So we have some mats and we're gonna start standing and then we're gonna kind of get more into the groundwork. So I do start with an idea of what we're gonna do, but it's never like, oh, we're gonna do this move and we're gonna do this move we kind of just go as we go so um, let's let's think here what our first attack could be and since we're going hand to hand that can um, mean anything from kicks to our hands to um, taking it to the ground so let's see I think I want my first strike to be a or Jeff, why don't you come around with a big hook? Okay. Um, I'm gonna come here. I'm going to come back with my roundhouse here. And what would be cool from you is if, so give me that hook again. If you could grab, so grab it, you're gonna take an elbow, strike down on my knee, and then you're gonna pull me back and drag. Right and I come down to the floor. Hit, grab, bring the elbow down, boom, I'm down to the floor, I roll it over, side kick to the face, and that will take you back. Cool. Yeah, cool. So I think I have to start on the mat. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, Are you Jay? just practicing? Or? Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, we practice. Two seconds. Around 
our fourth take. We're, we're kind of just finding our rhythm here and trying to see what looks good. Okay, that's not looking good, switch it out. Or, okay, we need to make a small adjustment on this movement here. Um, because whenever you're going into a fight scene without any pre-choreographed uh, things, it's like you don't know what looks good yet. You're kind of just going off your dome. So we're still figuring out, and this is uh, gonna be fifth take, but I think we got it on this one. That felt good. Yeah. Now that we are happy with our wide shot, which is where we usually start, you always start with your wides, we start cutting into these smaller frames, that way we have something to work with when we're editing. So what I wanna see from um, these smaller shots is we're gonna pull in closer, we're gonna really get this roundhouse kick, boom, here, and then we're gonna really get this elbow down right here. Um, and then from there, we'll probably pull away, come back to the floor here, and then get this side kick here. And so let's go ahead and pull away. We're gonna go ahead and get these smaller shots and then we'll show you guys what we got. ended I just kicked Jeff in the face <laughs> and I'm still on the floor and he's standing so we have a couple things that we can do here a couple options um, just thinking about it we could do some more fighting where he's up I'm down or we could also have me get back up um, and engage him that way I think I'm gonna get back up just because we're gonna go to the ground again later so I think with this fight scene I'm wanting to see a lot of up and down so that's what we're gonna do so I'm going to figure out how I want to get up here and then go from there all right let's see so I just did my kick Jeff is back so logically I would just go here and stand back up and I can engage him back with another big kick. He can dodge, dodge, and then we can do a sequence of hand-to-hand -hand blocks. I, mean, I think that'll be a good lead in for him to take me to the floor um, again, or I can take him to the floor next time. So we'll see where it goes from there. So I'm gonna take this mat out now because we don't need it because we're getting back up. Now I'm on the floor again. And from here, I just did my kick. I'm gonna re-engage here. So, boom. So my side kick, he passes it that way, and then we can engage here for our combat. Let's see. Oh. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, if, that, if that's what you're gonna come back with, that might be kind of fun. Then I can come back here, um, kind of like a, um, or I can go vertical fist there. So one, two, three, right? And then I can pass your elbow if you're gonna come back with the elbow. Yeah. Here, come back with a body shot. And this is literally we're just making stuff up on the fly and that's usually how, that's how it goes. We're just going in accordance to where each other's bodies are. Since we're both martial artists, we kind of know, okay, well if that was going to happen, then I would do this instead. And then if he's coming back with an elbow, then I would do this and come back with a body shot here. Jeff can, let's, let's have me take you down next. Cool. So what I'm going to do is, so I just gave you a body shot, right? Yep. Ow. So from the body. Boom, I'm gonna come here and shove you face first. So what's gonna happen, and of course we're gonna have a mat there, but what's gonna happen is I'm kicking this leg out, he goes face first, this way. And I'm back here. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's go from the top, let's walk through it again, and then we're gonna start taking some takes here. So I just did my side, he's oh, back, wow. I whip up, I come back in with a big side, he passes, come back with my, sorry, my parry, one, two, pass his elbow, body Ooh. shot down. From here, he's coming around with this, and from here, I can use the momentum of this, this leg being forward, and shoot here. And he's gonna fall straight down. We're not gonna do it on this hard floor yet, because we don't have our mat in, but we're gonna get to the top from all the way to that body shot there. And then we'll cut there. All right, let's get a take. Wait, I have hair on me. 
We're gonna pick up on a couple of these strikes here, and we didn't do that flip that we were planning on yet because we didn't have the mats in. So now we have our mats in, and we're gonna plan on setting up this flip safely. So we're picking up on the elbow here into the strike, and then we go into a flip here. And Jeff is down, and I am up. Now, the reason that we pick up on that elbow and that body shot is for a couple reasons. So one, extra takes for those particular movements to cut into, and then also continuity of motion for uh, editing purposes. So whenever we do edit these, it, it's a process of trying to find the best place to cut into the next mo uh, movement. So whenever we put this together, this will give way easier possibilities and and more options and that way we're not kind of just like picking up on the flip where it's like okay where did that come from so uh, we're gonna pick up on these couple strikes and we're gonna shoot our next sequence next let's do it oh. <laughs> 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 He's coming back out of that roll. I'm gonna glide off of his boom, down, all the way over, boom. And then from here, I can go goosh, goosh, and then throw my arm bar, boom, yep. end. Cool. We're picking up off of, I just threw Jeff. So he's gonna pop up out of his stance. He's gonna throw a push kick, I'm gonna glide off of that. Naturally, I would wanna come with a big sweeping hook here or a clothesline. He's gonna block with his shoulder, sweep around, and get me in a standing arm bar, and then he's gonna drive me again all the way to the floor. And this is where we're gonna take it from the next sequence, but we're gonna go ahead and shoot this up safely before we both take it to the floor here. All right, let's do it. And action. And action. Action. Well, these do have little side things. Oh, oh look nice. God. It's on this the side. Game. This change is a game. <laughs> sit around oh, actually, like... it, this one is not the. Oh, just flip it around. Side. Flip it around. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, before Sweet. they didn't have the side velcro. I, I thought they didn't have the side velcro. Nice. So nice. Okay, cool. cool. Okay, so probably turn it this way. Or actually more on your side. Like that. There you go. So, because I'm down like this, because then you're going to end up dropping your knee. Yep. So I'm gonna go like this, boom, oh. down, and then I'm gonna sweep you over with a kick, oh. boom, sweep, oh. roll you over, oh. Oh. I take that arm, swing oh. it over, oh. Oh. <laughs> and turn your camera on that one, and just be like, ah, something like that. Okay. Action. So that last sequence 
sequence took us a bit more time probably than any of the other sequences because we were on the floor um, and it took a little bit of fedangling trying to find the proper placement of the mat, not seeing it, also trying to keep my partner Jeff here safe and um, not injured. Uh, so it took us a little bit at the end there, but we're going to show you the full fight scene right here. <laughs> and that is how we make a fight scene in under one hour. That's guerrilla shooting style. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Gabriela Corvina. Follow me on Instagram at Gabriela Corvina, pretty much on every single platform. Uh, make sure to give us a like and subscribe, and then also give my friend Jeff here a follow. Yes, my name is Jeff Colangelo. You can follow me on Instagram at Jeff Colangelo. Check it out. All right, guys, see you.